Hey guys, welcome back. So a couple of videos ago in my auntie haul, I talked about why I am sort of wary of using the word invest when it comes to my clothing. So today I'm gonna to talk to you about why I feel that way. So in this video, I'm talking more about the psychological aspect of using the word invest and how sometimes it can be a little bit of a red flag word. If you're thinking about justifying spending a whole lot of money that you might not necessarily have on a piece of clothing in particular. For me, that word, especially the way I used it in the past and how I'm gonna talk about how I used it in this video, it really dampens and minimizes kind of the damage that we may have done to ourselves financially using this word. So this is why I don't use the word investing when it comes to my clothing. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Christina and I talk all about minimalism, intentional living and intentional spending. So if any of that sounds interesting to you, then go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. It really helps me out and please hit subscribe. I'd love to have you. So when it comes to the word invest, what do you think of? I usually think of like stocks, ETFs, Bitcoin, no, I don't know. And lately the way I've been seeing the word investment being thrown around in the clothing capsule wardrobe, sustainable fashion, wardrobe building sort of space is that it's kind of like a PR word to me. I think it's a word that we can use to sort of almost even trick ourselves into thinking that we spent our money wisely when Maybe we really didn't after all. And when I say I invested in this piece, because I've used that word actually many times here on my channel, I have used it in a lot of contexts when it comes to building a wardrobe. Because looking back, I really needed to find ways to make myself feel better about facing the reality that I spent a large percentage of my household income and my take home pay on stuff, on clothing, on things that depreciate in value over time. So the first reason why I don't use the word investing when it comes to pieces in my wardrobe is because clothing is rarely an investment in the sense of the word that it rarely appreciates in value over time. 99% of the time that I said I invested in an item, I am out money. And I also use that word as an excuse to justify how much money I spent. So in a monetary sense, or in the sense of how we might view the stock market, clothing rarely goes up in value. I mean, unless it's a Birkin bag or like a super vintage Chanel piece or something like that. And some of those pieces, I think they are viewed more as collector's items rather than like a bag or something that you would use in your everyday life. But I think for the regular person, the non super glittering rich that most of us probably are, then where is the value for us in spending that kind of money and not using the thing? For me, when it comes to spending money on anything that I'm gonna bring into my life, I better be using it. When we do buy an expensive piece or spend a lot of money on an item, I think we also tend to overvalue it when it is time to let that thing go. If you personally paid a lot of money for something, and I'm guilty of this myself, you try to recoup that cost when you decide to get rid of it. And there's a little bit of bias there. Will you probably think the item is worth more than it actually is? And the truth is the item is only worth what someone will pay for it. When it comes to clothing that you've either worn or used, the value is just not there anymore, regardless of how much you spent on it. And when it comes to secondhand shopping, and if you're the shopper yourself, we are expecting a bargain. We're expecting to get a deal on that secondhand item because it is used and because it's not brand new. So for me, with very few exceptions, clothing is rarely something that goes up in value over time. It's rarely something that you'll see a return on investment for. And if you did buy something, paid a lot of money for it and ended up not using it, you're still not going to recoup your full cost. You're still gonna be out money when you do end up selling the thing. And the second reason why I tend to avoid using the word invest when it comes to my clothing is that I think a lot of the times investment can be used as a way to deflect away from the fact that we just straight up spent a lot of money. So my thinking when it comes to this point is kind of similar to how we like to throw around the words retail therapy. It's kind of all about justification and wordplay and minimizing the reality of what may have just happened. And that can kind of be risky water to tread when it comes to facing the truth. Retail therapy is not therapy, it's not self-care when you put it all on credit cards and you're still in debt and struggling financially and wanting to make those changes. There's no self-care in that. So I think at the end of the day, 
call it what it is. We bought an expensive piece and maybe that piece is high quality. Maybe it's made from an ethical and sustainable brand. You know, maybe it's all these really good things, but at the end of the day, it's still something that I think we need to weigh against our household income, our debt, our debt tolerance, the amount of time that you might have to work in order to truly pay for the thing. There's other things to think about when it comes to an investment piece. Which sort of brings me into my third point, and it's that luxury items aren't always investments. For a long time, I would really straight up just lie to myself and use the word invest, or I was investing, or oh, it's an investment piece, I invested in it, to justify the fact that I spent a lot of money. And by the way, there is nothing wrong with buying luxury pieces if that's your thing, if you can afford it, if you enjoy it, do you. But investing in luxury don't necessarily go together because a lot of luxury items also depreciate in value over time or often just sit there unused. Or even for me, for example, with my luxury pieces, they were, once I had them and once I got the thing, it was like too precious to wear. Oh, what if I scuff it and this and that? And it's just like, so these things wouldn't even end up being used. And if I wanted to sell them, I'm gonna sell them for less than what I paid for most of the time. Having a luxury item doesn't automatically mean that it's an investment. Point number four is that it's not an investment if you're not using it. I've talked about this, this concept before and it's a very popular concept, especially in the capsule wardrobe and sort of slow conscious fashion community and that is getting your cost per wear out of your pieces. So for me, in my personal experience, the disconnect was I was buying all these investment pieces and then they were just sitting in the closet unused because either I was too scared to wear them and I didn't want to ruin them. I would end up choosing something else over that investment piece. I just straight up wasn't using them. So my cost per wear ratio ended up being really high because I barely wore the item that I ended up paying a lot of money for. So to me, there's a huge difference in buying something that's really expensive and not using it and saying you invested in it versus buying something that's really expensive and getting a lot of use out of it. In that case, then I can see how an item could be and would be an investment because you're actually getting your money's worth out of it. But if you're not using it, then it's just costing you money. So if I don't really like to use the word investing when it comes to my clothing, when do I think that clothing is actually a good investment? Because there are cases when it is. So when I think clothing is a good investment is one, I guess if you could straight up afford the Hermes bag and you can take care of it and put it in your vault and sell it at auction for more than you paid for it later, great, that's a good investment. But when I do think clothing is a good investment is when it helps you do your job more safely, more effectively, or if it's helping you adhere to a dress code. If you had to buy a work uniform like steel toe boots or a good parka if you work outdoors or some professional pieces if you work in an office and have a dress code all of these things are necessary for you to do your job and to make money and to build your wealth that way that's when I feel like investing in a uniform a work capsule things like that is actually helpful because it's helping you make money another time when I think clothing can be a good investment is kind of going back to my previous point and it's that you actually are using the out of your clothing you're getting a good cost per wear but I only say that with the caveat that you could actually afford it. If you make $4,000 a month and you just bought a $2,000 jacket, I still don't think that can be a good investment depending on what your financial health is at the time. So really consider those things before you spend the money on an investment piece that you know you'll get your cost per wear out of. Really think about your global financial health, your global financial goals, and your own self-care, which finances really work their way into when it comes to thinking about any of these purchases. And another time where I think there is a good use of the word investment when it comes to your wardrobe is if the curation of your wardrobe, if finding your personal style, if adding these pieces or taking these pieces away contributes to your well-being. And be careful with this because I don't mean that little rush of excitement and that dopamine hit when you ended up buying that thing. I'm talking about well thought out, intentional, budgeted for pieces that you can actually afford and you're not straining yourself to get. If the piece is not contributing to any financial burden, any mental burden, any physical burden in terms of clutter, debt, and your mental clarity, then yeah, 
I think you can invest some money in buying that piece. But it's when we start to use the word invest in almost a frivolous way or as a way to make us feel better about the purchase that we made or about the financial decision that we made because shopping and clothing is tied to money, then that's when I think you really have to consider and reconsider what that word really means and what you're actually doing. Because the other thing is too is that it doesn't have to cost a lot of money in order to be an investment. You can buy some something secondhand that is barely used or not used at all, that is of the highest quality. And I think it's a little more sustainable for not only our environment and the circular fashion kind of mindset and movement, but it's better for our wallets. I think again, people talk about investment pieces as inherently being expensive, and I really don't believe that they have to be. You can find things secondhand, you can thrift for things, you can do clothing swaps, you can do hand-me-downs with friends and family. There's other ways to get high quality pieces that you might need for your wardrobe that doesn't cost a lot of money and that doesn't require us to rationalize our way into making the purchase. So can clothing be an investment? Yeah, I think it sometimes can, but all I'm saying is just be careful because it isn't always. And when you're talking about your financial health, your financial future, and trying to make our best and most intentional and most mindful shopping decisions, then just be careful and think twice before you use the word investment. Let me know what you guys think about this video. Do you think clothing can be an investment? Do you agree? Do you disagree? I think... You know, this might be kind of a controversial sort of point of view, but like I said, I think there's cases where clothing can be an investment and I think there's other cases where we might want to think twice before we use that word and that justification. Let me know what you guys think. Leave me a comment down below. I think it'll be a really good discussion. Do me a favor and leave this video a thumbs up if you liked it. It really helps me out. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please do. See you in the next one, guys. Bye. Oh